5.3, number 13. Here we're asked to find the product of a monomial multiplied by two binomials. So that means multiply them all together, and we're going to do a piecemeal. First, we're going to multiply the two binomials out, and then we'll take into account the monomial. And you could start with the monomial and multiply it into the binomial if you want to. It really is a matter of preference. I like to start with the binomials. So this 3y to the fourth is just going to sort of hang out for now and it's going to multiply the result of what we get when we multiply the binomials. So if we FOIL these out, we get 2y squared, and then 2y times minus 6 is minus 12y. And then we are done with the 2y, so we go to the 5. 5 times y is plus 5y. 5 times minus 6 is minus 30. And we're done with the 5. So we've done the distributing. Now let's collect like terms before we multiply the monomial through here. It'll just give us a little bit less to look at and make our expression simpler. So 3y to the fourth carries outside again. 2y squared minus 12 plus 5 is minus 7y. Bring down the minus 30. Now we're at the step where we want to go ahead and distribute the monomial through here. So 3y to the fourth multiplies every single term. So 3y4 times 2y squared gives us 6y and then add the exponents because we're multiplying same bases so we get 6y to the sixth. Next one, 3y to the fourth times minus 7y. 3 times minus 7 minus 21. y to the fourth times y is y to the fifth. And then we do 3y to the fourth times minus 30. That gives us minus 90y to the fourth. And we don't have any like terms. That means we're done.